Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. Today I'm going to use my clubhouse set for the very last time. In a couple of days this retires and when I bought it I had in mind just a couple of cards that I wanted to make but I've actually made lots and lots of cards from it and I know it's on the last chance products until the... Ooh, I know they won't make any more um, after the end of May, but I think it disappears on the 2nd of June because the new catalogue is coming out on the 3rd of June. So if you do want this set, you would have to be really fast. It's only got a couple of days left. But I wanted to make an accordion card like this. And so I got my template out and I found that my accordion card template was for a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I don't actually have any 12 by 12 in a colour that I wanted to use. So what I did was I tweaked the sizes but still made it the same dimensions overall so that it'll fit in a, just a regular envelope but this is what I made. So let's take the little belly band off and there's the accordion card and you can't really see the seam. You can't see it from the back. And from the front, the join is here, just under this DSP. But I don't think anybody who receives the card will really notice it. And then this card stands up like this, and the little golfer, I always like to stand these belly bands up in the front so that when you've got them on the mantelpiece or the table, you can see both pieces together. So let's do the tweaking. So if you have 12 by 12, this is all the size ends you need. If you have eight and a half by 11, like I do, these are the sizes for the base. But for the designer series paper and everything else, then we use these same measurements from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my soft sea foam. And to start with, I'm going to take a one inch strip, the length of the card because that's the piece we need for the little belly band. So let's get this and we'll just take a one inch strip off. And it's important that you do that before you cut anything else because if you start and cut the rest, you then won't have an 11 inch strip um, to use for your belly band. Okay, and now I'm going to cut the remaining piece exactly in half. So I'm just going to line it up at five and a half on the long side and cut that right through. Okay, now the first base is this piece and we need to cut it at five and a half by seven and a quarter and score it at three inches. So I know that it's already five and a half, so the other length is going to be seven and a quarter open that. So here's my five and a half side. I'm going to turn it over, line it up at seven and a quarter and take just that quarter inch off. It's just a tiny little slither. Okay, and then I'm going to use my score blade and I'm going to score it at three inches on this long seven and a quarter side. So I'm lining it up at three and there we are, scored at three. And put that to one side. So next, we're going to do the second base piece, which is five and a half by five. So we know that this is five and a half, because when we cut our card, it was five and a half for both pieces. And we're going to turn it round and cut it up five. And this piece you don't need. This is just a little piece of scrap that you can use for other projects. Okay. Now, while we've got it with the five inch side at the top, we're going to do the scoring. And we're going to score at one and three quarters and again at four and three quarters. So one and three quarters. Move that blade out of the way and just have the score blade. And then four and three quarters. And that last score gives you that tiny, tiny little tab, just a quarter of an inch. And that's what we're going to use to attach the two pieces of card together. Now we don't need to do any more cutting right now. 
what we need to do is to do the folds. And again, I've already cut one so that you can see. So this is how it's going to go. Okay. This is the big piece at the right hand side and the small piece at the left hand side. So with the big piece, I'm going to fold that one and then I'm going to put it this way. So you can see that's that little piece there. And then this one, I'm going to turn it over, fold that one in, and then fold this little piece out. And when it's all attached, it makes kind of an M shape. See? So you've got that M with one long edge as well. Okay. I'm going to put my card together so that it looks like an M. Yep, then you know you've got it right. I'm going to attach glue just on this side. So I'm going to use my liquid glue for this. I find liquid glue sticks these together really well. It sort of sticks the fibres together and uh, just makes it stay attached better, I think. I have tried doing these kind of things with snail, but I don't find that it's strong enough for the amount of times you're going to open and close the card. So, uh, I'm going to offer these two up together. I'm just going to check that it's going to make that M shape. Yes, it is. Okay, and then I'm going to just fold that over. Make sure that it's butted all the way up. I didn't feel like it was at this bottom corner. So there we go. That's better. Okay, and then I'm going to use my bone folder. And actually, I'll use this other bone folder because it's nearer, just to go down that edge. Okay. I'm just going to press all of my edges all the way around. And that way I know they're all nice and crisp. And so there we are, that's the same size as the one with the 12 by 12 card. It works out just the same. Let's put that to one side. So now we need our designer series paper. And I'm using that same suite, I'm using the golf suite. And on my original, I have two pieces that match and then the inside three pieces all match together as well. And I've got a white piece of card here. And what you can do is put your DSP here and then put a piece of white card and offer it up. But I actually find it easier to do the whole piece in white and then to put the DSP on the top. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just gonna make sure I've got it the right size, yep. I'm gonna add this. The first time you make this, I would suggest you make it just on a piece of copy paper, just so that you sort of get the idea of the sizings, which way it has to fold. And that way, if you make a mistake, you've only wasted a piece of paper. Okay, now I've already got all my papers cut ready. And let me find the, the list so that you can see it. These are the DSPs that I've got cut already. And on my original here, I had each side numbered. So at the moment, my number one starts at the front and goes all the way through. I need the strip for DSP number two, which is this one, five and a quarter by one and a quarter. But I will put this onto my blog so that you can see all the sizings if you can't catch it just from the video. Okay, so I know I need the narrower one. Just gonna check that I've cut that the right size as well. Yeah, so let's attach that. Now these paper pieces you could attach with snail if you didn't want to use liquid glue. But I do find the liquid glue just gives you that little moment or two when if you haven't got it quite straight, you can just move it around a little bit. That little black piece on my card there, oh, piece of fluff. Okay. And then this one is going to go on the front, just here. 
and I, I just want to make sure that it's level top and bottom with those pieces. That's the only thing you have to watch for. So I'm going to turn it round and just make sure that it's the same distance top and bottom and that it that it looks like it's level with these pieces here. There we go. Okay. So next DSP are these ones inside. And these ones they're actually numbered four, three, and five, just to confuse you even more. And that's because sometimes I don't put DSP on these two pieces. Sometimes I might put a piece of extra card if I want to do writing, or I might stamp an image, um, maybe with Versamark or something. But today I'm putting DSP on, so we need four, three, and five. And here are the sizes here. And let me get those pieces. I've already cut them. And it's actually the back of the um, pattern that we're using here. So I've got the one narrow one, that's upside down. And I'm not sure if I've got them lined up now, let me just see. Oh, let's see which one next went next. It's like a little jigsaw puzzle now. I just want it to flow through the card so that it looks like the pattern goes all the way through. Okay, so this one we're going to put onto here. And it doesn't matter that it's upside down because it hasn't really got a, a pattern that goes any one way, this. So we'll attach that to here. And the next piece. And then the very last piece. And this one will go over the seam that we made. And I'm just going to go over that with my bone folder as well, just on the seam part. And there's a little sticky piece somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'm just going to get my eraser. on that little piece of DSP there. That's better. Okay. So, that's the fold all finished. And all the DSP is on. Okay, so the next thing to make is the belly band. And remember we had that one long piece that we cut off to start with. And what I want to do is I just want to measure it up I'm going to put it at the back first and then fold it not too tight. I just want to fold it gently so that there's still a little bit of give in it, just so that I know how big my piece has to be. And I want to check that it's still going to slide up and down at that. Yes, it is. Okay. okay. So I'm not actually going to fold all of it now. I just want it trained so it knows where to fold. And I'm because I've got that little edge on there, it's because I need a new blade on the trimmer. I'm just going to go over that. Okay. Now, from the DSP, I've cut a three-quarter inch piece. Now, this will really be a bit too long because it's a 12-inch designer series piece of paper and only an 11-inch piece of card. But I'm going to attach it all the way down. I'm not going to leave a little edge over here because you can see when it's closed you can't see that edge anyway so I'm just going to glue it all the way along 
and I know that it will overhang. I'm not going to trim it until it's actually glued on. So let's pop this on. Now, if you didn't want to put DSP on, if you were making a, a card that was maybe more floral or something, you could always put ribbon over. And if you didn't want a belly band at all, what you could do is you could add a ribbon closure anyway. Now, if I just pop this on here, and then I'll show you what I mean by the ribbon closure and where it would go. I'll just leave that to dry for a second. Now, if you wanted, let's take my original one. If you wanted this to have a ribbon, which would come, let's find a, let's find a narrow ribbon that we could use. Oh, it's an old piece of ribbon and it doesn't match at all. But you could have it so that you put this ribbon underneath this designer series paper, long enough to tie a bow could wrap it all the way around the back and you could put a tear and tape here to hold the ribbon in place and then just have it coming out there and then you could tie this with a pretty bow at the side and when the recipient takes it off then you can still see whatever images and everything you're going to put on so instead of putting the images on the belly band like I did here you would attach them onto the card itself but I'm making it with the belly band again and I'm just going to chop that piece off the end. That's that one extra inch that we didn't need. And then remember where we trained it to fold. I'm just going to go over that. I'm not going to push it all the way in yet. I don't want to do that until I've got my card in there. Okay, so let's put this in here. Gonna fit really nicely just there. Let me see, I'm just gonna look what it goes like that way around as well. I'm actually going to close it that way, but I'm gonna turn it round. So I want my little golfer to be a bit on the right hand side, and I still want I want him to cover over the seam as well. So I'm gonna do it that way, and I'm going to make a little mark with a pen just on the inside so I know how much glue I'm going to need. And then I'm just going to, you could do this with tear and tape, but I'm just going to put glue all the way along. And it makes it easier because I'm not taking the belly band off, so I know that it's still going to close nicely. Hold that for a second, just until the glue takes. And then I'm just going to slide that off. Now I'm just going to go over with my bone folder. Just to make sure that now I know that all the de designer series paper is glued on. And I always like to have the join at the front so that I can put a sentiment over or a flower or you know, an image that I've stamped out. And that way, when you look at the back, it's all nice and flat and flush. Okay, so the stamping I have already done because I knew the card would take a while to make um, and I didn't want you to have to watch me just stamping and colouring. So what I've stamped is this golfer and I've already colored him in with my blends. And then with the die that matches, I stamped him out and I've also stamped a spare white one. Because when you color with blends, the blends do leak through the paper. And I didn't want people to see that. So I actually put a back in on him as well. And that way you don't see where the blends have leaked through. So I've already got those done. I've done, I made this little stamp. I stamped it in one of the greens and then it looks like this when you stamped it. And then I've used the die cut to cut that little piece out. And then I've used this die to make this kind of laurel wreath 
effect. And I've done that in one of the darker greens as well. I think this was Mossy Meadow I did it in. So I've got those ready. Now, if you didn't want the piece that said Father's Day, there aren't any other stamps that are this shape. But in the designer series paper, let me get this out. The paper has a whole page, well, two pages actually, that have shapes already done. And you can use this to cut these out. So you could have like the little golf buggy or the golf ball on the tee. Um, and also in the set, I've just, just hidden it. Oh, it's underneath. <laughs> it's, oh dear. Also, you have these little banners. And these cut out the banners on here as well. So you've got a different colour banner to the designer series paper if you want. And let's pop those back. Then the other thing that I've cut out, I used the little golf ball one. Now I presume that they will cut these out, but I haven't tried them. I haven't um, sort of put them together or anything, but yeah, it does cut those out. I actually just cut them out just on white card. So when you cut it just on card, it gives you three images or three little die cuts anyway. Um, we do have a punch that's this shape as well. So I must get that tag punch out and uh, have a try with that as well. Okay, so let's assemble it. Now that we know our little pieces are all dry, I'm going to assemble it while the card is closed. And that way I know that I've got everything in the right place. I'm just going to pop that down there. Okay. Now, I'm going to start with my little golfer. I want him to cover up this join here. And I want him to be at the bottom. Because I know that if he's at the bottom, then that's when my belly band will stand up in front of the card. If I put him sort of halfway down, his feet will be lower than the rest of the belly band and it wouldn't stand up. If you don't want it to stand up, you can have your belly band you know, higher and the little guy further down. That works as well. I just like the fact that it stands up like this and it will stand up in front of the card. So I'm going to attach him only with glue and I want the grass to be at the very bottom and then can you see how his leg on the right hand side covers over that join and that's the only little bit that I'm going to glue so the bottom third of him so it's only an inch worth of glue I don't want to go higher than an inch because I don't want the glue to be over the top of him at the moment okay so I'm just going to make sure that his leg is covering that little join okay and then I'm going to attach the other piece behind him and this one I'm going to put glue all over working on his little golf club and I'm going to put this underneath the belly band so we're going to have it so that it matches and I'm going to match from the top down and then I'm going to press the belly band down and if I take the belly band off you will see she says hopefully there it is you will see that on the inside the the golfer is sort of either side of the belly band and that way, it just keeps that little golfer stuck onto the belly band. It gives it a little bit more strength. And he's not going to fall off. And I just make sure that it's glued all the way down. Yep. And so now, when you just push that just a little bit, he will stand up in front of the card. Okay. So I'm going to put that back on. Slide it down. I know that when I give the card, I'm going to have the belly band just up a little bit. He doesn't have to be right at the bottom 
to start with. And I'm going to put my uh, little Happy Father's Day sentiment here. Oops, can't pick it up. And the little laurel wreath. And actually, I'm going to glue the laurel wreath down first. Oops. Ooh, a bit much glue. Let's use that to go all the way along. glue this over here just at the left hand side I'm not going to press it down too much because where I first put all that glue there's quite a lot of it okay and then this I'm going to put on with a dimensional so let me see where I've hidden those get them out of my little bag I'm going to put two on just so that it pops it up a little bit and then just fit it inside there. But that would be just as cute with one of those ones from the designer series paper as well. And there we go. If you use the designer series paper from the image, you could always put a, a little sentiment on here as well. So you could still have both bits on. And there we go. That's it all finished. And then if you want to have it standing up, you would just stand at the front. And so it would just look like this on your table. I hope you like that. And I will hope you give that accordion card a go. Because once you've cut it out once, it really is easy. I'll leave this here just for a few seconds so that you can see the sizings and stop the video if you need to. So these are the sizings I used for the card base and then everything else from the closure down, that's the sizes of the card for the inside and all the designer series paper. The only thing you need to ignore is this where it's the 12 inch piece of card. So. I hope you did enjoy that and I hope you will give it a go. If you've got any questions at all, just ask. Um, I'm always here to let you know what I did and if I missed a step or anything like that, just ask me and I can let you know. Thanks ever so much, everybody. I'll see you all again really soon with things from the new catalogue. Bye.